Want to bet? Yeah. Yeah. You Where can it. I do it? You can do it at Sports Interaction. It's Canada Sportsbook. Yeah. Every hockey, football, and basketball game at your fingertips. And the World Cup is almost here. We're going to be talking about some of that throughout the month of November. So excited. You can bet pregame, live and play, or one of our many prop bets made for Canadians by Canadians. It's Sports Interaction, and it makes it easy to deposit, play, and cash out. Why are we raising the roof? Because you need to join now and see all that sports betting has to offer. Go to sportsinteraction.com slash sdpn. That's sportsinteraction.com slash sdpn. Ontario only, 19 plus. Please raise the roof and play responsibly. This is very strange. <laughs> um, but we do have breaking news, and I think it's important that we talk about this. this is a very difficult subject um, because it's completely wrong. Boston has signed former Arizona draft pick Mitchell Miller. Uh, Mitchell Miller was the oh, draft wow. pick that was renounced by Arizona uh, after allegations of bullying uh, in school. Uh, Don Sweetie is going to meet with the media at one o'clock, it looks like. Uh, so unfortunately, obviously, we're not going to be able to react to Don Sweeney's press conference. But um, here's what happened. Just so you know, because sometimes you bring this up and people are like, what about second chances? When Mitchell Miller was 14... Uh, he was charged with assault and violation of the Ohio Safe Schools Act in February 2016 after he and another student admitted to bullying Isaiah Meyer Crothers, a black classmate with a learning disability. Part of that bullying included wiping a piece of candy in a urinal and then tricking Myers Crothers into consuming it. In 2020, Myers Crothers told the Arizona Republic that Miller had taunted him for years growing up and calling him names like Brownie and the N-word while repeatedly hitting him. He said, it hurt my heart when he saw the news that Miller had been drafted by the Coyotes in the fourth round of the 2020 draft, where he was taken 111th overall. And then a week later, they renounced that pick. Now, um, this is an AHL signing, and it's... Uh, and, and Oh, he's with Providence. Yes, yes. And, uh, so it's not an NHL contract. No. Uh, he reports to AHL Providence. Don Sweeney, though, having to speak to the media really says something about this. Now, um, I, I cannot... Everyone, please compare his statement word for word to what the Habs said when they drafted Mayu. The, the Habs gave the Bruins the playbook for this. Here's, okay, y you signed a, a player who's, who's good at hockey, who maybe you shouldn't have. So here's the playbook. Yeah, and, and I think what's important here is it's, there, it's, the, it's in the, in this case, the devil's really in the details. Because you got to remember that the judge who adjudicated this case, said to Mitchell Miller, I don't even think you're sorry. And this is the thing, right? Right. He said, I don't think, I don't believe you're sorry. I think, I think that you're saying it mm -hmm. because you have to. And from it's, what we understand, yeah. Mitchell Miller, even though he issued the quote unquote public apology, never has, has made amends with the family uh, or the young man who was a victim of, of this type of bullying. Now, there is a statement from Mitchell Miller, uh, and I believe we should read that as well, if that's okay. 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 Um, because, you know, this is, you want to talk about the playbook, here's the playbook. When I was in eighth grade, I made an extremely poor decision and acted very immature, I immaturely. I bullied one of my classmates. I deeply regret the incident and have apologized to the individual. <coughs> Since the incident, I have a better understanding uh, uh, I have come to better understand, excuse me, the far reaching consequences of my actions that I failed to recognize and understand nearly seven years ago. I strive to be a better person and positively contribute to society. As a member of the Bruins organization, I will continue to par participate in community programs to both educate myself and share my mistakes with others to show the negative impact these actions can have on others. To be clear, what I did when I was 14 years old was wrong and unacceptable. There is no place in this world for being disrespectful to others, and I pledge to use this opportunity to speak out against mistreating others. There's something that's mentioned thrice in there. Can you tell me what it is? Is it his age? His age and how young he was when it, he did it. It's a, I remember when this story originally came to light, and I had some difficulty with it because it's A, monstrous acts, B, of a child. Mm -hmm. He's a child, right, when this mm -hmm. happened. But you brought up the very important point that when once he was an adult, 18, a young adult, sure, but an adult, the judge said he's not, he doesn't appear sorry. Yeah, and the mother, uh, the mother, the letter from the mother of the child who was bullied when she came out and said that he never apologized to our family and there was so much. Uh, Wrote damage. an open letter to the NHL and the Coyotes. Oh, yeah, and, and he was never apologetic. So I'm, 
with these things, I'm like, is there not other people who play hockey? Is yeah, but they're Mitch, not as good as him. Is, is he so good at hockey that he needs this position yes. in Providence? According to the Bruins. That's ridiculous. Well, and, and, and you know what? Here's the thing. People are like, what about second chances? Yeah, man, listen. Second chances exist. But you start with, hey, I'm really fucking sorry. And this, you make amends, yeah, and, yeah. and that never happened. I don't and we, think have, anyone, we have no evidence that that's ever happened. Exactly. I don't think anyone criticizing this was an angel when they were 14. No. It's, it's about pr- progression um, in adulthood. And you know what? We might see that. We might. But I think you can forgive people for thinking this kind of fucking sucks. Well, when you do that sort of thing, you come, you, we have earned the right to doubt the individual. Have we not? If everybody in the situation doubts him, like I think there's fair evidence here that we can also doubt him. Yes. And I don't expect the family of the child who was bullied to ever like him. No. No. I don't expect that. No. But there needs to be some sort of peacemaking there. Well, and I, I, I yeah. So it's, it's just an odd, it's an odd move by a team that's doing extremely well. The vibes are extremely positive. And... Yeah, what a you know, weird fucking the, move. Like the Bruins, literally, this is you didn't need to do this, and you didn't even do, you didn't even do this now. Like the Bruins are a surprise right. first place, run away with the division team right now. They're ten and one, and your GM is like having to do PR control in twenty minutes because you had to make this signing in October. You know what that means, though, guys. Somebody else was going to sign him. Probably. But okay, you're not making this signing on Friday, November fourth. I, I hate to do this the day before you play the Leafs. That's what I was about oh, to say. Yeah. They also did this the day before, not just playing the Leafs, Hockey Night in Canada. So now you've created a media storm for the la- next twenty four hours. Like that's all people are going to talk about tomorrow right. night. Around broadcast. around your team, where there is quite literally nothing bad to talk about. All we should be talking about is the greatest start in Boston Bruins history. <laughs> the team is uh, 98 years old. They're coming up on their 100th anniversary of the team, and they're having their best start ever. And we should be talking about that all Saturday as they play the Leafs. Man. And now we got to talk about this nonsense. You know, what the hell is going you on? You know that the Hockey Night in Canada producers had a whole bunch of like Game 7 clips and montages and re- all Leafs and Bruins. You know, it's the first step on the Leafs, maybe the Leafs uh, retribution against the Bruins. And it's like, throw all that out the window. We got to talk about this. And they know that. They 100% know what's yeah, happening tomorrow. They, so that tells me Don Sweeney isn't stupid. Don Sweeney yeah. is not making. Well, he okay. Okay. Fair enough. All right. But, but Don Sweeney is going, okay. I know this is going to, we're going to take a shit kicking for the next week, month, year, whatever. But somebody else is going to sign him and I want him. It's also uh, like, this wouldn't even be Don Sweeney. This is Cam Neely. Like, this goes up to the president if you're making this design. Oh, yeah. You know? It goes up to the owner. That's uh, the owner. Like, yo, if I own the Bruins, if I'm Jeremy Jacobs, yeah. and you sign this guy and you didn't tell me, I'm fucking pissed. Mm. Um, I, I was texted unprompted. Uh, after the news broke that multiple teams were in. I that. see. So of yes. course I didn't even ask this they, person. Then it was, yeah. they don't do this. Is it a reliable source? Hockey night in Canada. Reliable source. Uh, yeah. Okay. They don't do this day before hockey night in Canada unless they have to, because they're like, oh, we got to get them before the fucking hurricanes do. 